Hello YouTube, this is Wolfen. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. What we are going to do today is we're going to go over Dick's per card. We're going to go over making your custom Dick's per cards and using some of the more advanced options that we have. So, so let's see here. Let's go to display. So let's go to live scene. Go to display capture. There we go. All right, so you're going to want to go to here, go to your collections. I'm going to be doing these in Phasmopho in my Phasmophobia collection just for the simple fact of sometimes it gets weird when you activate another collection and you come back. It doesn't want to like go live like I'll show you here. But, you know, we make this we make that collective action. We go back to here. Let's choose this. So we'll just make a quick card just to show you what I'm talking about. So let's just add an action. Let's add audio. Upload audio. Now we'll do EMF. Save. But as you can see, it's not there. that we can't test this. So it's kind of annoying. Um, uh, granted, maybe I have to do this stuff. Test. Test. But I'm pretty sure we don't have to. Just do that. Save. So yeah. I don't know what the difference is. We, this, this collection is active. I don't know why it's not letting us uh, test this. Yeah, so the skill is not activated. So, um, yeah, yes, they are. They're activated. So yeah, so we'll just go back to here. There might be there's there might be something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Let's go back to here. So here we go. So you have your you have this is our list of things to do. Let's go to this. So you can do audio, which the ba our basic phasmophobia, I mean a basic Dixper showed us what to do there. But we haven't gone over button plays. We haven't gone over force presses. We haven't gone over key links. Lock a key and mouse button. I'm still trying to figure out. I can't get these two to work. We have gone over image over uh, video overlay. We have not gone over a uh, rotate screen. Chat message. You see the chat. Uh, we went over chat message on the last one. So we're mostly good. This video is mostly going to be on the things we haven't gone over. So if you want to say, uh, if you want to see. Like audio, image, and chat, go to my basic Dixper custom card uh, video. I'll put it in the, uh, <clears throat> I'll add it at the bottom. Uh, so let's go here. So let's go back here. Yeah, because we don't need to do any of this stuff. But, but yeah, if you do like the videos you guys have been watching, I now have a Patreon. It should be uh, there. Should be a button on my uh, on my title page. But I do have a Patreon now. If you guys, with uh, right now, I've got <clears throat> like at the end of the like end of videos, I'll add your name to show you as a Patreon supporter. I think is one is one of the options. One of the options is. Uh, I, I'll make you, I'll help, I'll help, actually, I will make you custom cards. Things like that. So, yeah, check out the Patreon if you would like, and hopefully we can uh, get some stuff done for you. But, okay, so let's uh, remove this. Remove. Let's do button plays. So... This is this is a pretty simple one. You want to? We'll go go five seconds. 
all this one is going to be for is if you're doing like we're just going to put a weird sound in here but let's say we throw ENF we'll save this and launch skill go back to phasmophobia hit that so I hit W to move forward EMF goes off which that could totally freak out someone that might actually not be a bad card because they're going to be hitting that and it's just going to boom go off now great I've also got a, like I've got a custom EMF card with that EMF sound as you can as you can tell so, so let's go back to Dixper. Okay, so so we have that. And that's really what you're doing. Where the custom cards that you like that Dixper has would be like your tambourines, your pianos, your guitars. Um, like I mentioned before on another video, if you would like to add different fart noises. <laughs> Things like that, which is what you would use, <clears throat> is what you would use this card for. So next would be force press button. So easy one would be let's just go this. Now here's the key on this one is you need to do an interval, or no initial delay. So if you do zero. It's not going to auto move until you until they press the key. It, so if you if you want them to press the key, then it just keeps going. Go with zero seconds. If you want to play the card and the card takes over, you want to put a you want to put a interval in here. So like I've been doing one. Press duration. Let's go ten seconds just so you can actually see it. That doesn't matter. The, we'll do this. So like here, how many seconds the actual last for this button? Restoration, how long will this key or mouse action be pressed? So do that. We'll launch. Go down here. Let me go back to that. For some reason, it was grabbing the key, not the actual. Oh, crap. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you see this? This is the one thing about Dixper, is it takes over your keys. We forgot to change this, that's why. Yeah, so left click, so it was taking over anything. That's what we want. Yeah, so actually, it's kind of funny watching that, because, yeah, it took over my left key, so as soon as I hit, as soon as I clicked on one of these, it was grabbing that icon and moving it. Let's go there. Boom. Boom. Yeah, see, I had to hit W on that one because of we were screwing because I screwed around. I screwed it up. So let's go to back to this launch skill. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little weird when you're transferring through screens. That sometimes it doesn't work. But there you go. I didn't press it. I didn't press anything at all. Let us. Go back to this. Yeah, actually, let me show you that I'm not touching uh, touching the key. So let me go from there. Launch skill. back but that's basically what you're doing with <clears throat> with this is you're basically making the game press a button as you saw left click will automatically will make a left click <clears throat> save that but let's add something else here so key links what we're doing with key links it's like WS, so if you press W, it's going to think that you're doing S, which is backwards. 
So we'll just save that for right now. Let's move this back over here. Actually, let's launch skill. So I'm trying to go forward right now. I can't. Because it's making me think W is S. So how you want to do this with... How you want to do this with... If you want to freeze someone in place, is this. So let me do this. Do full screen. So, boom. Do you want to go backwards? And then you want to go A to D. Then D to A. And this should freeze me in place. So let me hide that. Let me launch the skill. Right now I'm touching, you can see this, the screen kind of skip. Now I can move again. Oh, my, uh, So yeah, as you can see, I could not move. Let's do that again, shall we? We'll launch the skill, go back to the game. Yeah, so right now I'm hitting WASD. And nothing's working. But that's how you freeze someone in place. This is what happens when you don't have that. So let's go with, um, let's get rid of this and let's get rid of that. We'll save those. Because the original actually freeze in place is actually built like this and it doesn't work. <clears throat> so yeah, I can't go backwards, but I can't go that way. I can't go D, but I can't go forward or to the, to the left. But I can't go backwards and to the right. That is how the original freeze button actually was working. Until you went and, and fixed it. So let's go back to this. I'll kind of do that. Alright. Block a key. I'm going to show it. It doesn't work. Or at least I have not found out. I mean, you figured that block a key would be block a key. So we hit W. Save. Launch. Hide game. Well, I'm walking forward. Doesn't really help much, does it? So. Yeah, so not exactly helpful there. And the same goes and the same goes with the mouse button. Because I really I wanted to make a um I wanted to make a button that when you pressed that it would block the left mouse button. So when someone's running from a ghost, you could block the left mouse button so they couldn't open up a door or close a door. That was what I was wanting I was wanting to build a card there. What I might do is this is let's remove actually let's just uh let's trash that and let's change this to buttons so left click is actually doing right click now let's show what this is going to do let's go back to game launch we go back over here, so we're going back over to a door. Let's try that again, because I might have timed out on that. Oh, what the? The game just rebooted on me. What the heck?
Yeah, see, that's not even working. That should be making my left button think it's a right right click. And it's not. But not all these things are working correctly. It kind of sucks. I will not... I will not... Uh, I will not... Deny that. It also could be me. I could be doing something totally wrong. But let's go to rotate screen. So rotate screen... You really, <laughs> you really don't want this to be high. Let's, I'll take it to 10 and I'll show you what happens here because it is pretty freaking gnarly. Let's go 10 seconds. Save. Launch skill. Give it game. That's how fast the rotation on just a 10. At, for, at first, I thought this was like how many degrees? No, this is how, this is how fast. Because I first did three uh, 180, and you could barely freaking see what the hell was going on. Actually, I don't have that on. Let me go back to this. So, rotating screen. Let me remove this. So, rotating screen. This is the angular speed. At first, I thought this was how many degrees, like 180, 90. No, that's the speed. Let's go 10 seconds. Let's save. And we'll show what's going on here. That's what's going, that's how fast that is. So if you want to get your chat, if you want to get your chat sick, feel free. Otherwise, what you want to do is this. You want to go probably two, two or three. Let's go two. Block that. And launch. That's a probably better speed. Is going, it's just going that fast. So. I wish there's a way, there's not a way for us to turn this upside down. Which kind of which kind of bites? It's only yeah. All you could do is just delay. So yeah. So there's a lot of what a lot of cards do we can't do. They're proprietary to Dixper. So that's so this is what we have currently. Hopefully we get some more items, some more options, so we could do some more things like the flip upside down, things like that. That would be a little. That would be fun be able to do but right now we get this is this is what we have currently i if i could find a way to make the block a key and the mouse button blocker work i'll make a separate video on those but at this time i cannot make those two work it's not blocking the key it's not doing things for me to block a key i basically have to do key link not block a key so so if you want to stop people from moving forward just block a key do ws and link it to ws so you can't move forward because it thinks you're hitting S, going backwards. So that's what uh, that's how you're going to block a key. Um, but I believe that is it. So let me go back to here. But yeah, so that's a, f a little bit more advanced. The more stuff I learn on Dixper, the more things like that. I will definitely make new videos to show that stuff better but if hopefully if you guys if you like the video please give the video a like give the channel a subscribe uh like i said before also i now have patreon so if you want to help support the channel it would be greatly appreciated but i'll be putting out videos anyway either way but i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you all later Bye bye